our coach back to 500. Uh, pretty much a tail of two halves there. Looked real good in the first half and then just kind of hung on there down the stretch in the second half. Yeah, you know, I was really proud of us for the way we came out in the first half. We talked a lot about really coming out and trying to take take charge right from the beginning. And, you know, we'd had some slow starts, so we really focused in on that. I thought as a, as a whole team, we did a great job of ball movement. We were pushing the ball in transition. We were locking them down to one shot and done and really had a lot of nice stuff going on for us in the first half. And, you know, we were able to come out and build a 10-point lead, and I thought that was big for us. And the second half was a whole other story. We felt, you know, our slow start came in the second half right from the get-go. I felt like they came out and they were their aggressors. And, we looked a little uh, passive, and you know we talked about it during each timeout and trying to correct our defensive mistakes and, and trying to get rebounds and get out and run. And then when you needed it down the stretch, the seniors came through. Asia hit a big bucket there at the end of the shot clock, and obviously the last free throw. Kiwi finished with 22. Talk about them. Yeah, you know I can't say enough about about our, our seniors and, and the way they play in the end of the game. You know we we have the luxury of having a lot of maturity on the floor, and you know Kiwi boy can just. She's just so solid. Everything she does, she plays so within herself. You know, I thought she had a huge transition basket for us there late with the and one. And, and then, you know, this that late in the game, we, we offensively we just started to get really stagnant and we had some late shot clock issues. And, and I thought Asia really took charge and was able to create not only the, the game winning free throw out of one of them, but the, the bucket before that I thought was huge as the shot clock was running down. And, you know, she, she does so much for us that doesn't know, get noticed as much. You know, she's leading us in assists. I think she had seven tonight with two turnovers. And, she just continues to kind of make the right reads and, and, and does a great job for us on the floor. How big were these three wins coming off of a tough road stretch, being away from away from home for almost two weeks, and now we had three wins here heading into finals week and a couple weeks off before ACCs? Well, I think they were huge for us for, for several reasons. One, because we've really tried to put in a lot of hard work. We've talked about hard work pays off, and, you know, the kids kind of get to see that happen now. And, you know, we're able to come back home and play in front of our crowd and our gym on our rims and, and, and be able to pick up three three wins. And, again, you know, against the Seton Hall team today, that's probably one of the most athletic, physical, big, got quickness and a little bit of everything, you know, I thought we responded extremely well and, and at a time when we were mentally drained right now with exams coming up and everything. So I, I thought our kids did a great job focusing the last couple of days and coming in and taking care of business. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Go Deets.